The truth about Trudeau and deficits. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Well, we all knew that when Justin Trudeau said he was going to have small deficits of 10 billion or less, that wasn't going to hold. Now we've got it from the horse's mouth. Justin Trudeau, speaking to reporters on Parliament Hill, was quizzed several times about his promise, his election campaign promise to hold deficits to $10 billion a year or less. As Finance Minister Bill Morneau has been telegraphing that that won't happen for some time. We've told you about it here at The Rebel. Well, asked directly, listen to what Trudeau says the real promise was during the election campaign. He says the real promise wasn't to hold things to $10 billion. We uh, made uh, two uh, clear uh, commitments in uh, our uh, fiscal framework as looking forward during the election campaign. One was to continue to decrease uh, Canada's debt to GDP ratio every single year. And the other uh, was to restore balance uh, to the budget uh, within our first mandate. Okay, so what about the $10 billion figure? What's the deal there? Well, Trudeau is essentially saying, yep, it's going to go up. The deficits will be higher. Uh, we uh, put forward uh, $10 billion as uh, the goal that we were looking to keep for modest deficits. Uh, but at the same time, we committed uh, on an ongoing basis uh, to keep you apprised if the situation worsened. Uh, because the one thing we have committed to Canadians uh, is to reverse the low growth that Canadians have experienced over the past 10 years. Now, some of us warned you about that during the election. Of course, this audience listened. The vast majority of Canadians obviously didn't or didn't care. But this is yet another broken promise from Trudeau. He was reckless all during the campaign. We'll do this, we'll do that. Now he can't deliver, whether it's deficits or tax cuts that are revenue neutral by taxing the rich to pay for the middle class tax cut. He's had to back away from that. It's not going to happen. He's had to back away from his Syrian refugee promise of 25000 by the end of the year. The man was reckless all throughout the campaign. And now the rest of us are going to pay, or in the case of deficits, our children, our grandchildren, and who knows for how long we'll be paying for Justin Trudeau's missteps.